We haven't seen one of you in a while. Goddamn lurkers. Coming out of nowhere. Hi there. Were you, uh, were you trying to kill me? Is that, is that what you were doing over here? I'm not very fond of lurkers. Damn, this guy is, is like ninja in me. That's one thing that I don't really like about lurkers is they, they tend to sneak up on you. That's how they get most of their hits in because they're pretty weak otherwise. Usually one or two shots from a pistol can take them down. If you can hit them. For some reason my guy has like the accuracy of uh, a cow or something. Like moo, I can't shoot this. Seriously? The thing is right in front of you. Shoot it in the face. That is all I ask, you know? It's like I aim down the sights and I expect the gun to actually shoot the thing in front of me. Alright, there was at least one more. I don't know where it headed off to. But I know it's around here somewhere. Anyway, one of the things that you can do over here is, um, get a moral point if you just head on down that way. I think I might just because there's there's a lot of stuff over this way. Got some nice stuff sitting in here. Take out that trap. And as you get over here you get that moral point. I think it's because of this, either this body or this doll sitting here. But anyway, we're gonna go ahead and uh, pick up this replacement gun here, which has a stock, so we've got uh, better aiming. Good stuff. And uh, soon we'll actually be picking up an even better replacement gun for this. Actually, this place is full of really awesome pistols. Apparently everyone in these little colonies owns a pistol. Don't know how that works, don't know why that works, but uh, that's how it works around this place. Hopefully with this, uh, this stock here, my guy will start aiming straight instead of shooting up in the air. Apparently the recoil is really really hard on this gun or something. Which doesn't make much sense to me. Don't ask, don't tell though. I have no one to ask, so no one's gonna tell. And also, I almost went down into this. You can actually fall down those and kill yourself. So, watch that. I have managed to kill myself in one of those holes before. Which was really surprising because I had thought the entire time that I was not anywhere near any of the holes. And then suddenly I fell down one. And you know, when you fall down a hole suddenly out of nowhere, that that's a big surprise. It uh, can be kind of a, a spooky experience falling down a hole and dying, being eaten by lurkers. I'm sure that being your last experience, not much else is going to spook you, but uh, that's, that's definitely a spooky way to end. Now if we head too far up into uh, one of these places, you'll actually get a, uh, a moral point, so we'll do our best not to get that moral point. He's got a nice little sniper rifle. If you head to the back of this one, you'll actually grab a moral point. But uh, the only thing I'm checking out is if I need a health kit. 
apparently don't, and I apparently can, like, just drive these things out of my way by running over them. I have no idea how that works. Sounds like we got something coming. Now, this room over here is filled with smoke, so it actually requires gas mask, but if we head up here really quickly, then we're already to a room where there's no gas mask required. There is going to be a, a moral point in here, which I did not really want to get, but there's so much good stuff in here that it's really worth coming up here. There's also uh, another Helsing. If you want to grab that. Me, I have absolutely no use for it, but it's there. And if you need any gas mask stuff, it's right here for you. Me, I've got uh, I've got plenty left over from earlier in the game. We're gonna go ahead and uh, drop this gas mask on our head and uh, start exploring the area. Should be able to find a few more of those lurkers coming out in a moment here. I like to uh, to make my way up here and hope that they follow me. Just because uh, it makes them easier targets. A lot of the time, the uh, the big thing that I really don't like about lurkers is they will come out of nowhere and spook the crap out of you. That was really good timing for saying that. These things still tend to scare the crap out of me because it's like I turn my back and suddenly, boom! Look at that. On cue and everything. No down dog. I don't know what you were before you got mutated, but down doggy. Do our best to get rid of these before they hit me, but uh, sometimes not even that is enough. Here's something. Hey, what's up, dude? I heard you. Kind of scrambling around out there. Yeah, you gonna... Hi there. Well, those, those couple of shots there that I missed were definitely my fault. I've got a much more accurate gun now, so I should have been able to hit that. Wow, he just uh, flew right on by and... Kind of creeped me out. Hi there. Hmm. Well, he went down a hole. Yeah, this is definitely one of the more spooky parts of this game. I hate these things. With a passion. thought I saw one. There would be two of them. If I could even kill one of them. Damn it. Alright, well, I'm heading up these stairs. Grab a few arrows for myself along the way. It's like someone was killing some lurkers. I hope you're the last two. Nope. Yeah, say hello to a bullet in the face. This last one looks like he got a knife in the face. Now, I've always wondered if all of these are trailing to someone who's been killing them, and then he ran down to his... Hey, I'm kind of talking here, but... I saw you over there. And he ran down to his, his last knife here. Did he die, or... Or did he manage to make it out of here? Because I don't see his body anywhere. It seems to me that he somehow made it out of here. 
Not sure how. But somehow, it seems like he made it out of here. Still hear something squirming around out here. So, those of you watching, are we in agreement? This is this is a pretty creepy section here, for me at least. I'm curious if it uh, feels kind of creepy for you guys too. This is actually one of the first sections where I started to start to kind of fear these creatures a little bit. They're not they're not terribly hard, but they're they're kind of scary. Just running out of nowhere. Really don't like the uh, the jumping out of nowhere ninja style and eating my face off. I feel like I got face hugger aliens coming after me. These bastards are pretty pretty darn scary. Terrifying even. Hi there. takes care of you guys. Now if we run all the way down to this end, we're gonna get a moral point, which I don't really want, but we're gonna get another upgrade for this gun. Which makes it even better, because now we got a nice little red dot. Which makes this a whole lot easier to use to kill these guys. Hi there whole lot easier. But, yeah. The moral point is worth getting this gun. Very much worth getting this gun. Couple more rounds over here. And we'll be off. Not much else to get over here. But, we do have a train right here, which we can Go ahead and search. I think I still hear at least one more of those things out there. It's probably more than one. It's always more than one. Hate those damn things. I'm gonna kill them all. Alright. Got plenty of pistol rounds and if we run out of those, we can always switch to our other weapon. I'm going to try and save the, the shotgun, mainly because um, it'll be useful for other things. The, uh, the critters down here are just too weak for, uh, for a shotgun to be useful. Anyway, now that we're out of this room, I can technically take off that mask, which I should because I don't want these things to uh, to break it for when I actually need it. That would be a bad thing. Really, really, it's it's the worst feeling when you've been doing really good and then you've maybe like killed the last thing, but that last thing had the gall to break your gas mask and you're in the middle of a place where you can't breathe and then you're just like searching around you wanna you wanna find another gas mask you're hoping you do but you don't and then everything that you've worked for has just been ruined because that last guy that last guy had to break your mask that really sucks